The Bohr Beauty Scheme The Bohr's model says that electrons revolve in discrete orbits called shells. So let's see how these electrons are distributed. The Bohr Beauty Scheme gives the distribution of electrons in different orbits or shells of an atom. The rules of this scheme are Number 1. The maximum number of electrons present in a shell is given by the formula 2n square. We have seen that the shell nearest to the nucleus is called k shell having n equal to 1. So the maximum number of electrons in the k shell is 2 times 1 square equals 2. Similarly, for the L shell, we have 2 times 2 square equal to 8. For M shell, we have 2 times 3 square equal to 18. And for the N shell, we have 2 times 4 square equal to 32, and so on. Number 2. The maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated in the outermost orbit is 8. This rule is also called the octet rule. It is a very important rule because it decides the valency of an atom. Number 3. The shells are filled in a stepwise manner from the inner shell to the outer shell. The L shell would start filling only when the K shell gets completely filled. In the very same way, the M shell would start filling only when the K and L shells are completely filled. Referring to the octet rule, valency is the combining capacity of the element. The electrons present in the outermost shell of an atom are the valence electrons. These valence electrons participate in any chemical reaction. Atoms react to achieve an octet in the outermost shell by sharing, gaining, or losing electrons. Atoms having completely filled outermost shells, show little chemical activity. Their valency is zero. Such elements are called inert elements. For example, helium, argon. These elements do not react with any other element. 